Because guns are so popular and common in society today, we spoke to some of our peers and teachers to find out what they think about gun violence. There's a lot more violence just basically around. I think like the m music mm -hmm. today, m movies and video games influence it. Like, like the little, ch like little children, like when they play the video mm -hmm. games, the shooting video games, it's like they, mi sometimes they mimic what happens on the, on the video games or what happens in the movies. Idols, like rappers and stuff like that. Um, basically influences teens because they look up to them and they think that they're so cool. So if they're getting into fights and shooting each other up, they probably think that's cool too. I think that society has taken its part in contributing to the amount of uh, exposure teenagers and children have had to guns and gun violence. Some teens see these guys dying in all these horrific, stupendous ways. They, that amuses them. They think that's cool. Then they want to go outside and mimic that. I think that we are, all of us have the ability to make our own decisions, no matter what you watch, no matter how much video games you play. But there's, I feel like TV tells them that there's no consequence. Um, I just recently spoke to a lot of my other, my, my reaction kids who they do a, a gun violence prevention program every week. And we talked about a rapper named Cameron. And, you know, he, he's from Harlem and he basically told, you know, he was, he was talking about the whole snitching ep epidemic and how, how he would never snitch. So for you, it's, it's really about business. It's about business, but it's still also a code of ethics. Like I said, I'm raised from where we wasn't raised to tell. You wasn't brought up to say, hey, this guy did that. This guy did that. It's kind of like not saying go do something bad to the person who did something to you, but it's kind of policing your own community. If there is a serial killer living next door to you, though, and you know that person is, you know, killing people, would you be a snitch if you called police and told them? If I knew the serial killer was living next door to me? Yeah. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call and tell anybody on them, but I'd probably move. So again, I definitely think the media portrays one thing, but the, the people that's portraying it don't even live that life. American culture definitely influences gun violence. Um, I think that we have a huge culture of fear. The places that we live in and the way the world is today, it's a lot more dangerous than it was back in the past. And there's a lot more people carrying guns nowadays that will go on and try to hurt you. So it's better to, you know, be prepared for that. I think I need to be protected because, like, like the stuff that's happen, is happening nowadays with, like, the teens and the guns, mm -hmm. it's like... Anything, anything is possible, anything can happen. We need to take a look at where our society is today and what people are using these guns for and it's not a matter of just protecting their home or going hunting, but people are using weapons to actively harm other human beings. It's always, you have to do something in order to be safe, you have to have this in order for something not to happen to you. So everybody's afraid. So I think that in this country, our whole country is based on fear. What if somebody want to come after me one day? I'm going to need a gun just to shoot at them. Yeah. I think it's easier nowadays because there's lots of gun vendors everywhere to sell them out the backs of cars and suitcases and whatnot. People's parents found guns. I, myself, I found my family's gun when I was like six or seven. Hopefully, I mean, luckily it wasn't loaded, but you know, it was easy to get. Like, say for instance, they, you go to a gun show, mm -hmm. and then like, and then like, the, he buys all the, a person buys all these guns, and then he comes back down to an area, and then he starts 
some of them out of the back of his trunk, and that he doesn't doesn't care who who gets the gun, and he, as long as he makes the money. Around where I live, there's a lot of gangs and stuff like that, and I know how they get the guns and stuff like that, so it. It's very easy for them to get it. I personally know that gun access is incredibly, incredibly easy right now because the gun show loophole, it's not a loophole, it's a gap. It's a huge, it's ridiculous. The, the fact that you can buy a gun without having a license. All you need is a state license to buy a weapon. You can't even drive a car without having a license. You can't even do my nails without having a license. Everything requires a license except for buying a weapon, which makes absolutely no sense.